Welcome Wheeling High School students. This is Mr. Hanrahan. I'm here today to introduce the Gale Science and Context Database for nanotechnology students who need articles or information on an independent research topic. I started at the Wheeling website and from the Wheeling website, I went to academics and then the library. And this website then shows you my name here and uh, Mr. Davis's name. He's the, uh, Virgil Davis is our library assistant. I also went down to 214 Library Resources. And when I clicked on this link, I got access to our databases and other resources. My name's on this page too, here at the bottom. All the libraries collaborate on this page so that we can share these databases underneath the word research. And today we are gonna go to this one right here, Gale Science and Context. It normally would probably require you to log in with your net ID and password, which many of you know, but because I'd previously logged in, it didn't require me to do that. Uh, at the top here, sometimes you can sign in with Google, but I've also had errors with that, so I'm not gonna use that today, but if you gave that a try and got that to work, that may speed things up for you. You obviously could type in some keywords or a subject heading that you're interested in, but I also wanted to show you that we have browse by topic. And this browse by topic is uh, similar to other databases in that there's an A to Z list of a lot of topics, but you also have this menu here of topics and it'll let you narrow down if you're interested in one of these to look at topics. Because if you looked at all the topics, you can see A to Z in this database is six to 700 topics. There's quite a few and it is constantly being updated um, so I wanted to give you a sense of like how many topics are in here and maybe browsing this quickly through these topics isn't the best way and maybe narrowing it down by picking one of these um, topics. And e even though it's a nanotechnology class, um, your teacher, Dr. Wallace or Ms. Bouvier would help give you suggestions or could the whole point of looking in this database is to help you get an idea of what topics you're interested in. So just for an experiment, I'm gonna click on math, engineering and technology and it narrowed down some topics for me. I was kind of curious about biodegradable materials that was recently updated, but I could browse through this. I've never even heard of CRISPR but uh, some famous researchers are also in here, uh, organized by last name. And you could kind of browse through here to get an idea. And then if there's something I really wanted to click on, I could start by going down that path and looking at biodegradable material. And from here, it gives me a, usually a summary at the top. And a lot of times I tell students to hit read more of that summary. So I've looked in math, engineering and technology, biogradable materials. And this document kind of summarizes it in 549 words, what we're talking about. And that's it, just in one page. Sometimes that one pager will give you all these new keywords to use. And it'll also give you a, a citation. And here's some more subjects and keywords at the bottom or other areas to explore or other articles. Um, if I like this, this I've read this now, this short one pager introduction, I would copy the APA citation here and select it and then copy it and then put it in a Google Doc that I've started for this project. And I can, oh, that, that's not in alphabetical order. So if I wanted, I could go back and undo that and maybe start to put my work in alphabetical order. I could paste it in that way. Um, I could worry about the hanging and dents and things like that later, but I just wanted to show you that as an introduction and then also come back into the database. If I wanted to save this article, I could try to hit the Google Drive button, but I know that if I hit this download button, it'll open up uh, this new page. And if I hit the, if I scroll to make sure this is what I wanted, 
Yep. And then I hit the share button, the upward pointing arrow, and tried to either put this in my Google Drive or hit print. When I hit print and I just try to expand the printout and then once again hit the up arrow and hit Google Drive, you can see there's a file there. I'm going to select a folder in my drive. And the nice thing about videos is if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it. You could save here, upload. And now this biodegradable background information, just one pager, would be in my Google Drive. And you can see it's over here, but it has that kind of crazy name. So I would hit the three dots to rename it. And I would use the name that's like on my screen right now. Biodegradable. And hit rename. So now that biodegradable document is right here, but I want to go back into the database. That background research is probably not enough for me today. I um, also probably need to go into biodegradable and you can see there's this other content here. There's featured content, there's reference material. What we looked at up here is probably more like reference material. Images, audio, news, academic journals, and magazines. When it comes time to dig a little deeper into my topic, I would probably go to academic journals. And these academic journals could be managed by date here, where you can put in a date range for getting more recent topics. I could also click on subject headings. And the more times the subject shows up, the higher number of hits there are. So 266 of the first one, 99 of the second. Polymers comes up 29 times. And if I select it, it'll take that longer list and limit it to only 29. And you can see it was a little filter that was added, but I didn't update the date. So maybe I need to put in like in the last five years to today. So now I put in September 1st, 2016 to September 8th, 2021, hit apply. And now I've, I'm looking at polymers under a specific date range and I only get seven. And some of these have to do with uh, acronyms. So the first one, the PGA. Um, some of these things are very detailed. These are probably research articles or reports. Some of them are even peer reviewed. If I were to find one that I was curious about, I would look at this abstract at first. Maybe there's some vocabulary in there that I know or don't know, but there's a list of keywords. I could copy that out, send that to the same document. If I wanted this document, I would make sure I get the citation under the APA. I would select it, copy it, put my citation in first. And then I would download the, oh, once again, alphabetical order matters. And I don't want to do that as much later, even though there's all these uh, tools to help me with that. I do want to make sure I get the citation on the first day and I try to download this. Or if you tried the print button too, let's just try the print button from the screen. It worked. But then the document looks like this, and that's kind of a crazy document. But if you, if you don't mind the first couple pages of all the languages and stuff like that, you, but you could also hit download. Or if you wanted to try to hit the Google Drive button, it'll try to connect to your Google Drive. And this one was the colonization and degradation of uh, those bacteria. And let's see if it worked. I wanted it to send it to my Google Drive. I'm not sure. Oh, it did. Here it is. It made it a Word doc. Sometimes that button works. Sometimes you have to hit print and zoom out and then save it. So I'm going to move this uh, to... The file I wanted to move is in my Google Docs or, or my Drive, and I could hit the three dots to
to move it and I can move it to my drive and then to uh, my nano folder. And if you had subfolders in there, I can move it here so that I could access it later from that drive. And I'd recently typed in this folder here and you could see these different, it's right here right now. And I wanted you to see that, but I also wanted to come back into the database after I've done the citation with APA, I've copied that already. I've done the download, then I printed and expanded my screen. I reminded you about the different ways you can look at this material. This is uh, zooming in or um, filtering for polymers and for a date. I showed you subject headings here. They're much more narrow now because there's only seven. But if I were to hit the X here and remove polymers, and keep the dates. I now have 172 that are about biodegradable materials in academic journals. I now have a different range of subject headings. And if I wanted to look at bacteria or enzymes or any of these other words, I could also copy those out and put those in my doc. Um, you could also change altogether what you're doing and look at uh, searching within these results you could uh, click that and then type in a keyword if you wanted to. All of these different filters on the side are super valuable and a way to use this database in a way that would benefit you finding good information. We could also change over to magazines here and keep those dates the way they are and see if any of this material will be valuable. A lot of times this isn't original research. Now this is uh, journalists and maybe experts or non-experts also sharing what they found, but more like a summary of an article rather than original research. And this could help you get interested in a topic. Uh, this one's from the Chemical Industry Digest and it's only 229 words and it kind of summarizes um, work in these areas and you could go back in the different magazines to get an idea if any of these were also interesting to you. And you could even go over the news if you wanted to, to get an idea of uh, research you're interested in. And this one even has things in there about E. coli, and it's in the Washington Post. So this article is pretty simple, and there's some quotes from some scientists and things like that about what they're doing. You save the citation under APA, and you could try to save it to drive. I, you know, Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. You could also hit the download button and you want to make sure you can also cite it up here at the top and copy that into your document. So that's a quick rundown of the browsing topics in Gale Science and Context. And I could go back to my list of all the topics, change to see them all again, or uh, pick a different subject below and try to narrow my search. And your overall goal is to find some good information, uh, cite it, download it or save it as a PDF and to head towards a testable question or a research topic. Mr. Hanrahan, thanks for listening.